emotions. Just because you feel sad don't mean you do sad shit. Walk around, pout, complain. No, you feel sad. Hey, it's okay. You feel sad. But you keep doing what you're going to do, whether you're sad or not. Yo, Elliot. Yo, E. My question is, oh, sorry. This is Cameron. I see Cameron here. I know Cameron's here. Cameron Bortworth. He's been around for a while. Good to have. He says, uh, it's been a while since I've been on the call, but I had a crazy few months. OMAD fasting daily. Lots of reading. And most importantly, over halfway towards my goal of 10K a month. Bro, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to hear that you are on your way to achieving your original goal, which is that 10K a month. I think 10K a month is reasonable. I think 10K a month is a great goal. It should be the first goal. It could be a goal to achieve and live on, right? 10K a month is great. And so he's halfway there and he says, yo, E, my question is simply, how do you stay calm with the peaks and valleys of business? It feels like I have peaks where business is going great. Then the next week is the opposite. How do you stay grounded during this? You stay grounded by not latching yourself onto the, onto the kite, right? Life sometimes is like a kite. It takes off, but then it goes with the wind, right? And so various aspects of your life are going to do that. They take off, but there's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. There's going to be swirling arounds. The whole idea is that you got to be the guy on the ground that's holding the rope, not the kite. Don't get carried away. And you see this in people who like, you know, they uh, they gamble in the stock markets where their mood is up and down based on what the stock market is doing. You got to you got to put your head down, keep your mouth shut and put one front in front of the other. And you just keep going. It doesn't matter what the what the what the current climate is. Right. Like right now, it's a sunny day. Right now, it's a sunny. I'm looking out the window. It's sunny out here. But this morning, it was cloudy and we had drizzles. Now, what if I would have planned my whole day based on the fact, and I live in Florida, so Florida is like that, it sticks right out into the ocean. So the, say, the way, like in some parts of the country where you can predict the weather, like, because here it comes, it's coming, you know it'll be here, and then it goes, and, you know, and then it passes through. You can basically predict the weather. You cannot predict the weather in Florida because it's, we're out in the ocean, so just like stuff, it's just doing this. Right. The weather is just doing this. And so any prediction that they make about the weather in the Florida is usually wrong. Nine times out of 10, when we watch the weather channel or they predict the weather in Florida, it's like, yeah, that's a that's a really good guess, but may not happen. There's a good chance it won't happen. They're like 50 50. Let me say that they're like 50 50. So but if I were to gauge my day based on the fluctuations of the weather here in Florida, I would be schizophrenic. I'd be I'd be crazy because it's raining one minute and then it's sunshine the other minute. It literally will do that. And it'll be like this. It'll be raining over there. I can see the clouds. I can see the clouds coming. I can literally look out the window sometimes, especially in the summertime. And it will be just big, black, dark clouds and it's raining. And I can even see the rain dripping, but it's bright and dry over here. And if I try to plan my day on that, cloud coming this way i could be very, i could be wrong because i'm just going with the whims of the weather that cloud could literally go that way it could switch and it happens all the time it could just switch directions go that way my point is my man is that it doesn't matter what the local weather is it doesn't matter what the daily weather is it doesn't matter what the daily income is what the daily peak is what the daily value is it doesn't matter what happens in the day it's what happens in the long run what is the long term what is your grounded your ground approach right what's the ground approach the ground approach is one foot in front of the other take it day by day keep your head down when i say keep your head down that means don't be looking for immediate results and don't be looking for immediate not results don't be too concerned with the immediate results of it at all right don't be too too caught up in the swings of the day, just like these people who do uh, stock market trading, right? Like, you know, one minute they're excited, wow, I'm a millionaire. And then the next day they're like, oh, I lost half a million dollars. But a good investor, what do they tell them? Hey, slow down, it's for the long term. Just leave your money where it is. I'm not an investor, so I don't, don't take my advice, but this is like practical advice. 
for investors. It's just you're in it for the long run here, buddy. This is your retirement savings. This is this is your life savings. Just hang in there. The the daily fluctuations over time produce something. And that's really what we're looking at. We're looking at what it produces over time, right? And that's really it, man. So uh, this is advice for, of course, what you're seeing on the outside and how it makes you feel on the inside. But it's a scourge amongst men these days that feelings become the gauge for for their happiness or, or for their state in life. Even your feelings are going to change. So let's say you look at your, your daily income sheet and it's up. Don't you be up about it. And this is a big one. This is a big one because, you know, we want to feel good all the time. And we, we've, we bought into this lie that life is about feeling good when it's not. Life is about suffering and sacrifice. I love that. So much better than this chase for this ephemeral happiness, which doesn't exist. Um, so we get happy and we let ourselves rise. Don't let yourself get too high. Don't let yourself rise with it. Just look at it. That's cool. And same thing when we feel, when we allow our, meet our feelings to sink, right? And even if you're feeling, even if you can't help it, right? Because sometimes feelings are unconscious. Feelings do what they want to do. Emotions do what they want to do sometimes. You don't have control over your emotions. And I never talk, I never say don't, I never say control your emotions, right? People are like, Elliot contradicts himself because he says, you know, like, trust your feelings, but then don't trust your feelings. And one of the things I try to explain to you these days is that it's not, a, it's not about denying your emotions. It's about not r riding the roller coaster of your emotions. Just because, and, and, that, and that boils down to your actions. Just because you feel sad don't mean you do sad shit. Walk around pout, complain. No, you feel sad. Hey, it's okay. You feel sad, but you keep doing what you're going to do, whether you're sad or not. Hey, you feel great. You ever do this one? You feel great, man. I'm feeling great. It's okay. You're allowed to feel great, but don't now start getting lazy. One of the things that happens a lot of times is people feel great and they're like, well, I can take the day off. I can take half a day off. Look at things are going great. I don't have to do anything today. I'm doing amazing. I'm way ahead. Uh, 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 uh. Keep your foot on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground. Today is good. That's fine. You feel good, but it doesn't mean you change your action. Action stays consistent no matter what the feeling is, dude. So I hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.